I didn't want you. We're back. I didn't want We're you. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It is Woo. Wednesday night. It's nine o'clock. I'm here with Patty Howard, our founder, and, and it is Chit Chat Savior. Chop. Savior. Chit Chat Chop. We are back. It is season two. We've been off for a few weeks. We had a great Share. Christmas, great holidays, great New Year. It is 2018. Season two, episode one. Here we are again. Here we are. Here we are. And guess what we're doing again? Chicken. Chicken. Le poulet. Le poulet. Le poulet. Le, le poulet. Le piri piri poulet. chicken. <laughs> Patty, what is piri piri chicken? Oh, yes. Piri piri chicken. It's basically the Portuguese chicken with like a chimichurri chicken it's like the it's portuguese, the portuguese version, version of chimichurri, of chimichurri chicken. essentially it's not yeah it's hot he's trying to light my mouth on fire it's true so piri piri chicken is made with piri piri chilies so the portuguese took piri piri chilies back from africa when they kind of went out exploring and brought piri piri back so i went to portugal a few years ago with my wife my then fiance or girlfriend can't remember uh, now she's your lucky, she is lucky, my very lucky, wife. very lucky wife. Uh, and we were lucky enough to travel all over Portugal, and we ate a bunch of piri piri chicken. And the Portuguese people, uh, every, everywhere except for like the very far south, do not like spice at all. Hot chili. They, oh, this is gonna so, be like, great. So they put the tiniest little amount on. <laughs> and we were in this little tiny restaurant, and the people we were with were like, no, 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 more spice. So we kept sending the chicken back, like four or five times to get more and more spice put on it, because they like put like the tiniest little bit. And then by the end of Did it, they like, like you, or were they like aggravated by you? No, every it back? Portuguese person in the restaurant was like watching us, like because they thought we were gonna die. <laughs> we we're just like, no, 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 more spice, more spice. This is nothing. Anyway, so we're gonna make peri peri chicken. We're gonna make peri peri chicken. So I did my lemon roasted chicken, and it's like a lemon. Exactly. So this is we did your favorite chicken. Yes, that's right. And this is my favorite chicken. So we're going to put a bunch of garlic, about six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot of garlic. Eight, nine, ten cloves in here. A lot of garlic. It is a lot of garlic. Jake Dwyer. Hello, Hi, James. James. We're yes. going to take half an onion. Okay, I'm not going on a date after this. Onion, garlic. Jeez. So what's new, Patty? Oh, so many things. So many things. It's it's 2018, and I mean, jeez. We're almost, if you technically count kitchen door years, which it, there's a whole bunch of stages to kitchen door, we would technically be 10 years old this year. But we're not. We counted in eight because the first years I really – didn't do anything and I didn't I don't even classify myself as a caterer in the first two years what were you doing just like it was just me and my Anne Marie and we made brownies I mean we tested I tested the market is basically what I did to figure out if this was a viable business and so um, so we're eight to ten years depending on where you start the market um, but it's uh it's 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 hard to believe that it's, it's been that long yeah it's it like I've been here a year it almost, feels like how long about 15 <laughs> Because it's such a special place to work here. Well, it's because it's, it's because it's always something different. Like every day you come in and it's something different, or you're going somewhere different, or it's like a different crowd. Like it's always something different. So it feels like so much more time has passed because you have all these different experiences. Where in a normal job you just go in it's the same thing every day. Yeah, yeah. I think it's interesting. Partly, partly that I come in the door sometimes with crazy ideas. Uh, by sometimes she means every, every single day. <laughs> so I'm gonna Keeping add things fresh. Uh, like an inch piece of ginger into With, here. Let's peel, peel on it. Every, look, let's you're being daring. Peel on it everything. It's not going to gum it up. And no, 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 no. Extra ginger. Lemon. We're going to put the zest and juice of one lemon. Do you notice how he's not making me cook? I like wanna, he doesn't trust me. I want to eat this later. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Ouch. Ouch. Burn. You've, been, you've been out of the kitchen a long time, Pat. Oh, oh don't rub it in. Yes. Barb Howard says, hi, Patty. Hi, Mom. That's my mom. Oh, hello, hey, Patty's mom. mom. Oh, yeah. Thank God she's not here live to tell you stories. <laughs> Feel free to write them in. I will read we them can later. Shit <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Mind. She wouldn't want to come on. <laughs> all right, so, so it's 2018. Oh, look, look, you got the zest. Did you get it all in the they jar? They can't see it. The, the video quality isn't that good. They don't know that happened. <laughs> so, we're going to put the juice of our lemon in there. I hope everybody knows this trick, the cutting the lemons. Yes, this you talked we did this one last halves. time. You get more juice out of it. Yeah, people love this though. Like it's I know. Uh, it's a little trick. Look how many times do you juice lemons? A lot. I'll tell Sarah again because she cuts it out every morning. She cuts it in half and said, Don't cut it in half. Yeah, Sarah? not in half, Sarah. She watched This is episode. why this is why I cry before I go to sleep. Because you do that. <laughs> this is what you do. You take your lemon, you have the two ends. 
You cut it this way. That's wrong, Sarah. <laughs> Don't do that. I hope she's not watching. I'm, I'm Turn gonna, it this you're way. You're gonna get in trouble. And then cut it that way. Don't cut it straight down the middle. Put a little offside. You'll get way more juice. Way out more of juice. It. And I'll be able to get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Also, my cat attacked me the other day, and also oh, your hands my hand sore? is on fire. Sarah, I just you got what me back. What did you do to your cat? My wife is a massage therapist. Yes. And she was lucky me, husband. Yes. Yeah, she was giving me a massage, and I was laying face down on the massage table. And I had my arms kind of dangling on the side, and there was a sheet. And the cat, I didn't know, was under the table. And she saw my hand move behind the sheet and jumped, and it scared the crap out of me. So I ripped my hand up. She's usually really gentle, but she, like, Grap- clawed, and then I ripped. So, I, like, oh. it got me pretty pretty good. Woo! Yeah. Woo! I'm surprised you didn't, surprised you didn't put a glove on. Hey, it's I TV. Know. They, didn't it's know. TV. they didn't know. You oh, told yeah. them. I didn't even get that bullet out of you. Oh, all right, anyway, so it's all in there. We're gonna put a bunch of cilantro. Bunch so this of is parsley. like the chimichurri portion, right? Yeah, the it parsley, really is. The parsley, the green, the ginger, the lemon, the herbs. So this is uh, this is the pure pure chili. How much are you gonna? So uh, it's really not as spicy as you think it is. I actually bought this in Portugal. That's why it says it's so spicy. Hot yeah, chili. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the only ingredient. It's fine. Hot chili. So we're just gonna put a little bit of this in. Oh yeah, just a little. This is like it's like cayenne pepper, right? It's like cayenne pepper. Yep. Little salt, salt, little pepper, pepper, little oil. So this is uh, olive oil. We're just gonna put that would in there. Would you use olive? Would you use something else? No. Only olive. Only olive. Are you only? Are you an olive oil only well, kind no, of person? No, because so in Portugal, like most people, like in the countryside, have their own olive. Oh girls. yes, that's true. In Portugal, we're not in Portugal. No, this is a Portuguese dish, Patty. We're trying to be authentic here yeah. on Chit Chat Chop every Wednesday nights at nine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Join us live. So. All like everybody has their own olive groves, and every community has uh, an olive press where everybody takes their olives and press it, and then it communal olive oil. Yes. So in Portuguese cooking, it is always olive oil. Would you like to? Oh, I'm going to be allowed to use the equipment now. This is our immersion blender's first appearance on the show. Yes. For the hardcore cool? fan out there. It's going to butter it off. A little more. A little more oil. It's a little stodgy. Am I liking? Yeah, this actually works really well. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost. So this dish is probably about 200 years old, and the immersion blender is the traditional way to do it. Quarter past Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's good is that there. good? Are, yeah. you, are you happy with that, Chef Ben? I am. It's delicious. Is it super hot? No. You'll get it. No, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> so, we have this little guy. This little chicken. Uh, Le poulet. Oui. Oui, oui. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave them whole, but we're going to split them. So, we have the breasts up top. I'm going to roll them over. We're going to open the legs. I believe that's I what you said. I love doing this. That's what you said last time. Yeah, I did, oh. and you thought it was hilarious, and I done it on purpose. wasn't even aware was that I had done it. So there's a little bone here that you can easily cut through. So we're just gonna put our knife in right in the center. This is how I like to do chickens on the barbecue. Yeah, and because they cook super evenly. Yep. Right, and they cook way faster than you would if you put a whole chicken in the oven. Absolutely. Yeah. See, I know I do actually know some I know as you well. Do. Chef. So yeah. we have our chicken. We're just gonna put it down and kind of smush it. Smushy, smush. smush. Here, listen to the backbone. Oh yes. Crack it up. Put some of our nice piri piri sauce in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Lovely it is beautiful. Colors. I don't know if they can actually see that, but it really is beautiful. It is. It's beautiful. We're going to put that down. We're going to put this over it. You're going to rub it up. We're going to rub that in there. <laughs> just like this. And then we're going to let it sit for four hours. So we will be back in, in four, four hours. hours. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands. We have, we have a Christine Lorraine. Uh, Shirley Murray and Jay Frampton. Oh, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us. Patty, so, yeah, so this is obviously we're doing chicken tonight and next Friday we have our first cooking class of 2018, which I think is like one seat left, maybe two. I'm not sure because we sold a lot of seats today. So it uh, it's one seat left from being sold out. And it's called Bird is the Word. Bird is the Word. Bird, bird is the Word. Bird, bird is the Word. And it's bird super cool bird. because if you cook a lot of chicken, which a lot of people do, and you want to learn some cool things about 
how to maybe break down. What, what is on the menu? Do you remember? Nope. Or am I putting you on the spot? Uh, You're breaking down a chicken. So the class starts, everybody gets a full chicken. Uh, I show you how to break it down, like into all the different pieces. You break it down and yep. then we do buttermilk fried chicken. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. We're going to do another type of chicken. Another type. And then there's also one more type of chicken. Did you put my favorite chicken in there? Lemon no, roasted okay. chicken? No, no, no. Didn't put that um, in. And then we are going to make a big batch of chicken stock and everybody's going to take some home. Yeah. And nothing like homemade chicken stock. No, like, it is delicious. Ooh, so delish and so something important to do. So yeah, bird is the word. We've got lots. So talking about 2018 and all the cool things that are happening. We have a whole series of classes up on the website. Um, they went up in December, and we've done, we sold a ton of gift certificates. We've had record sales. Is it a little hot? It just got me. It just it's a little hit hot. Me. <laughs> we have Brad Steves just joined in. Hey, Brad. Brad. Great guy. You're a great guy, Adam says. So, um, so lots of classes. Uh, we actually the one in February for um, Rustic Italian is already sold out. Yep. So if you're interested in classes. And actually, the one in April. So we have two Rustic Italians. Yes. One in February, February. one in April. And the one in April is already selling. Uh, so if you want in, you better. You better get in. Quick. It's going to be a fun class. You've got Rustic. We've got Rustic French. We've got Rustic Italian. We've got a vegetarian class. We even have a vegan class. We have a vegan Chef class. Chef Ben is going over to the vegan side for one evening. Mm -hmm. I'm getting my V card back. Yeah. And the, oh my gosh! See, I, you think I said something inappropriate last time? Offside. Season two, everybody. Season two. Here we are, I'm live. Um, what, what, I was gonna say you added some new classes because we had such such a great um, a lot of feedback and a lot of selling lots of gift certificates. So we added another two classes a month. Is that what we did? Ooh, One or three. two. Three classes. Three. So you've got a new Orient class, which I'm really looking forward to. They're Flavors making of the Orient. My favorite. Mm -hmm. You can use my recipe. Sure, I was going to use my own, but I will use yours. It'll be Patty's famous samosas. I'll have to try and approve them. You, oh, oh, oh. Burn number two. Yeah. Uh, what well, else? Uh, it's a new year. Do you have any resolutions? I do. do you, oh, oh, I'd love to hear these. It's just, it's the same. Teach more people to cook. Oh, that's a good resolution. That is my resolution. That's it? The one and only? That's it. I already lost a ton of weight. We did that You earlier. did. We had a... Um, I didn't take part. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing that. We had a staff weight we loss challenge. We had a staff challenge. weight loss challenge. Um, and you were, you didn't win. I came in third. I won, I won my own game. Yeah, you did. You did really well, actually. Yeah, I lost like 20-something uh, pounds. Yeah, 20-something pounds. Lots and of I had already did really, lost really 10 well. pounds. Yeah. Your chef coats are, not, are, are fitting very nicely, mm -hmm. Chef Ben. Although, since Christmas, they are not fitting. They are not. Quite as loose. So we're going back on that? And we have one of our past guests. Valerie Mansour says, happy Ooh, new year, Valerie. Valerie. Happy new year. Folks, you, she said. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and he, so that's it. Just cook, more, teach more people to that cook. That is it. Okay. That's a good what resolution. What about you? Uh, well, I mean, I have many, but I would say the one that I'm going to do, um, I'm really going to try hard is, despite the fact that I own a catering business and I'm actually a trained chef, I don't cook very much at home. So my goal in the new year is to, well, we are in the new year, is to do more meal prep so that we are eating less kitchen door takeout, which we tend to eat a lot of. In which our is house, delicious. Which is delicious and great and healthy and all sorts of lovely things. But, you know, my kids sometimes tire, although Kathleen more than James. Um, so I'm going to try to do some more cooking at home and make some, try some new things. So we kind of get in a rut. How are they going to tire when we're adding new things? I know, I know. Well, it's, it's just, a, yeah. I have two two young children. They need some, and we all we get in a rut. We cook the same thing. Five hours, five hours. My four and a half hours later, and an hour in the oven. Didn't you do like that? Didn't no. So I don't know if you guys can see this. That smells delish, by so the record. It's been, it looks a little charred. It's supposed to traditionally this would be grilled. I have the oven super hot. It's about 425. It's been in there for about an hour and 10, 15 And you minutes. kept it straight at 425 the whole time. Whole time. You didn't like, nope. okay. okay. I didn't touch it. I put it in the pan, covered it in sauce, and roasted the crap out of it. So we're just going to let that set uh, while it's doing that. We will continue to talk about topics that we... Why do you do that? If someone doesn't cook a lot, why do you let it set? Okay. So when you heat things up, obviously the molecules start dancing around, right? Like that's what Crazy. heat is. So when the molecules are dancing... I'm a molecule in the chicken. I did that on purpose. <laughs> we needed a little life in this show. When the molecules are 
dancing around and everything's super hot. All the juice in the chicken is going crazy too. Crazy. So you got to let it rest to let the molecules calm down, let the juice evenly disper- disperse, disperse within the meat, and then when you cut it, it won't juice out, and you'll have a nice juicy chicken. But Same with steak too. Is that how you check to see if it's ready to cut? No. No, you pretty much know. You can overrest meat, but I mean, I would say five, ten minutes max. You're probably it's like if you have a turkey, like if you have a whole turkey, you want to rest minutes, that forty minutes, forty five yeah. minutes, like really wrap it. Like rest. I'm always like take my turkey out and then fire in all my other yeah, dishes, absolutely. right? So that the turkey is sitting there and whether it's tented or well, not. Oh, nobody wants to hear about turkey. I know. I know. Sorry, we brought up out. turkey. That was bad. We're doing chicken though. We are. We are. It's different though. It's, it's very different. different. It's very, very different. We have a, a Valerie. Said, first time Doug cooked for me, he made flattened chicken. I asked him how he did it, and he said he backed the car over it. <laughs> <laughs> that does not it. surprise me that he said that. At all. <laughs> not even a little. Bit. Not even a little. So we're having peri peri chicken. Did you make any side dishes? I did. Chicken? But I it oh, did. Oh, you didn't want to bring them out. Oh, the chicken's not ready. Oh, well, I want to I want to hear about these because you have to tell people about this. So we have these. Oven baked French fries. Before we were live, he said world famous or no, award winning. Award winning. No, it's a world famous. World famous. I have actually had people from Australia tell me that they made these based off my recipe and that they love them. So, world famous We're patty. pretty delicious, though. So, really, all you do is cut your potatoes into fries, boil them until they're like just about to fall apart, drain them in the sink, let them steam dry for a few minutes, probably three, four minutes. Toss them in olive oil. They're going to break up. It's going to look disgusting, but that's what you want. Yeah. Olive oil, a bunch of salt and pepper, and then spread them out on parchment. Bake them at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes, and they get super nice and crispy. Because all that, like, potato is broken up on the outside, you get kind of this, these craggy bits, which get all crispy, and they're quite delicious. They're, they're really delicious. I would say. And this is, like, my favorite. I think I actually prefer these to fried, I do fried too. potatoes. I do, too. They're not nearly, they're not greasy, they're crispy. So, I found out something interesting today. You did. Oh, yes. share your interesting fact. Adam us. hates the sound of people eating. Oh, oh I know. Like that. Oh. Brittany does, Brittany just got here, I bet she doesn't like it either. Hi, Brittany. Hey, Brett. All right, so, cool. chit-chat chop. Let's talk chit, about this Chit-chat and chop. So, guys, this is season two, obviously. Mm-hmm. You're all fans, you know this. Um, we are fully booked up until... March... 14th or March 14th. 14th. That's it's crazy. Fun. I mean, Mia! Uh, it's crazy. We're already fully booked mm-hmm. up until March. We got people coming at us. It's amazing. If you want to be on the show, you know somebody who wants to be on the show, get at us. Maybe in season eight we can fit them in. Who knows? Oh! Who knows? No, we've had, I mean, we've had great, anytime we've approached somebody um, or they've approached us, it's been great. This really, I mean, when we started this, this was a platform for us to talk to other people and learn about their businesses and learn about the community and find out what other people are doing and what they like to cook. Because that's the, that's, the, that's the thing that keeps us all connected is cooking, right? So we'll make your favorite dish. We've got lots of cool people, a wide variety. We've got some healthcare, we've got some musicians, we've got some local celebrities, marketing people. Can we talk about next week? You totally, we yeah. So next week yeah. we have wait, Julian, yes, okay. Julian Don Tremont. Tremont. Uh, he was on the Great Canadian Baking, Baking Show. Show. Which I watch religiously. I'm talking and eating, sorry. They're he quite is, delicious. <laughs> he is a contractor by trade, and he loves to bake. He's amazing. Some he's of the stuff the he made on that show. He's going to be here. Yeah, he's going to be here, and you're right going to be here. baking. Are you going to do, like, a cake decorating contest? Oh, I'm not, no. Are you going to bake something? No, I don't no? think so. No? I haven't talked to him yet. Maybe make him do, maybe see if he has a savory dish he likes. Yeah, well, no, we can, we can absolutely bake something. I just, I don't know. I haven't talked to him yet. Well, you're behind on your job, obviously. If you haven't talked to them, it's a I usually out. don't I mean, talk to them until five minutes before we go to air. <laughs> I have a, fo- like, in my contract, it says no one is allowed to speak to me unless there's lights oh, on yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Who wrote this contract? I did. This, this I wrote imaginary it. contract. I wrote it in crayon. <laughs> is, this, is this show going on the road sometimes? Too? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, we are. We're going January on the road this year. 24th. Yeah. We're going to pod camp, which we have no idea what that is. Adam sucked Adam. us into that. But we're excited. We're going to we're gonna show people. Uh, how we do our Facebook Live, and so how easy it is really to do this, which is basically it's really complicated. We come up here and it's we talk. Super hard. Nobody else would be able to do this. No, my, oh my gosh! But we're going to show everybody how to do Thousands it. Thousands of dollars we spend. Yeah. 
Yeah, no. So we're going to showcase that, and we're going to do some cool things there. We've got... Uh, and we're going to... We're also going to do a live... At PodCamp. We're going to yeah. do a live Facebook Live. A live Facebook Live. That sounds wrong. It's but... going to be on a Sunday. It's going to... Right? Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. It's going to be a different time. We're still going to do a regular Chit Chat Shop. It'll be like a special presentation. Yeah. yeah. No, we're really looking forward to that. That's because super cool. Used. I know. They're really, really good. You could almost like dip them in if it's... Yeah. See, like that would be like a cool little like... <clears throat> Is that what you do? <coughs> yep, and this is what you would get in Portugal too. You want to choke them? Make it <laughs> us. Stu Fraser, one of my past cooks for the Red Stag, and used to work with Ella. Just came on. Hey, well, Stu, I am also Stu. Ella alumni. Ella alumni. Yes. I think is there. A, well, there's a few of you around the city that are Ella. My alumni. wife still works there. Yeah, oh, that's true. She's also a server. So, yeah. Um, well, in, so in Portugal, you would normally get the fries with the peri peri chicken. That's why I, why I did it. That's, oh, that's why. Yeah. That's why you wanted to be authentic. Authentic yeah. Chef Ben. Actually, so when we went out for Peter Peter Chicken, this is a part of the same story I was telling earlier, we got a big bowl of soup. And you're sitting there and you're like, you think you're hearing like chickens and stuff, and you're like, it's just, just so authentic, right? So we get this big bowl of soup. in the middle of a farm? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it's in rural Portugal. Everything's in the middle of a farm. Mm -hmm. So we're eating our soup, and like you see chicken feet floating in it. And then, like, I got up to go to the washroom, and I looked out the window, and that's, the chickens are right there. They're just walking around. It's Those like poor chickens have to look in that restaurant and know what their fate is. Yeah, but I got to look at them and be like, tomorrow. That's fresh. Tomorrow. <laughs> they were delicious. You're hilarious. So, I really like, the other thing I like with the French fries is aiolis. Yes. So, do they serve a lot of aiolis in Portugal? No. No, it's all, like, oil mm -hmm. and herbs and... A lot of ketchup, actually. Ketchup? They've, really? So, because Portugal... Oh, no was like so poor for so long mm -hmm. they are very into kind of western style food now and okay. abundance so when you go to a restaurant in portugal you get way more food than you could possibly eat because they all grew up with nothing so oh, now so their it's portions like are big. exactly and oh. it's a lot of western stuff like french fries and ketchup and stuff interesting yeah. i had no idea I have not traveled that part of the world. Portugal Someday. is amazing. Right, Ted? Nice surprise trip. And they trip. have Vino Verde, their green wine, which really good. Oh, really? Really good. Speaking of olives, I, Ted and I went to California. This is about four years ago, five years ago. And he had no idea, but I, I, t I told him he could eat olives off the tree. Have you ever eaten? Oh, my God. It was so bad. I had set him up that. for this. We were, at, we were at a winery, and they actually had olive trees. And Oh, my gosh. The look on his face when he bit into that olive was priceless. So, if you don't know, olives actually have to be cured for a long time before they're palatable. They are terrible. Nasty. They're terrible. 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 All right, our bird has rested. Bird is the word has rested. As you know, we had, we had Gingers came on, Steve Sardi. Steve Sardi. Hey, Steve. I know Steve from way back. Way back. And Michelle McCann from Hello, awesome. Hello, everybody. everybody. Thank you. Look at you. Give it all your... Oh, you, oh you're doing three. You're doing one for Adam. I was like, you're going to give yourself all those fries no, and give me I a little bit? three like... plates here, Patty. Calm down. Calm down. Aren't you on the keto diet? You can't eat french fries. I start, Actually, I start back on the keto thing. diet. Oh, stop <laughs> it. I start back on semi-keto this week. Next week, I'm really going back full force. I had to take a break for the holidays. I couldn't do it. Yes. Just like you're on the gluten-free diet. It's not a diet. It's a. It's a lifestyle. I, I know. Can't eat gluten. What was that bang? Guys, Somebody's trying to bang in our. <laughs> we have an emergency. We had to call the fire department. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yesterday. Tell them the story because I wasn't here. I just got the phone call at 7:30. So, we're here. Oh, Mia, keto. We <laughs> are doing inventory. It's in the morning. It was like 7:15 a.m. It was like 7 o'clock in the morning. Which and I'm we're not usually back. awake at that time. And we smell a whole bunch of like burning electrical stuff yeah and then the lights in the warehouse went out and then pitch black pitch black and then we were like oh we should call the fire, call department. The fire department because it was just as overwhelming and if you still come in our back door it still has that burnt electrical smell it does it's pretty bad yeah, it was pretty bad but anyway fig figured out two of the ballasts on the lights um melted and exploded yeah within this like big and it happened before. It happened like two years ago. So this must be a, something with those lights. But it was a lot of fun standing outside in the freezing cold waiting for the fire department. And they called me. And I didn't answer because I was asleep. And then the text was, call me ASAP. And then Chef Mark, who's our Brit, British chef, said, I've called the fire brigade. And I thought, 
Brigade. Fire Brigade. What is he talking about? It took me like 10 <laughs> seconds to figure out what he was talking about. She was still asleep. To her, it was like a 1930s, like one of the first yeah. talkies. <laughs> anyway, it was all good. My staff was safe. The building was great. We evacuated. They evacuated. They did all the proper things that you're supposed mm-hmm. to do in a situation like that. Although I will say, and kudos to the 911 workers. Thank you very much for sending the fire patrol to us. Super appreciate it. But they asked me for, so I called on my cell phone. Yeah. And then they asked me for the landline. So I gave them the number of the landline. And then they told me to evacuate the building. <laughs> It's not even really a landline. It's no, a voice line. Yeah, I don't know. So, anyway. All right, we're going to eat this. Oh, yeah, you didn't bring so, any forks. It's pure, pure. Oh, you do this forks? with your hands. Yes, yes. So we're going to be authentic. So it's not pretty, but it is delicious. Yeah, it I looks delicious. Know. It Thank looks you. amazing. And the coal just came on. Nicole. Oh, Hello. Hey. Oh, yeah. That's yum. Yeah. Like super yum. So the key really is to let it marinate in all that spice and stuff. For at least four hours, preferably overnight. And then yeah, that's roast it high heat, 400 degrees for about an hour, 15, hour, 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Then let it rest and wet. dig in because it is delicious. It's super yum. All right, anything else? 2018, we want to talk about? Hey, Ted. Hi, Ted. Piri Piri Chicken, you'll like this. I'll bring some home. Um, I feel like there's a lot going on, but it's hard to. There is a lot. There is classes like with someone that's helped with the social. I've never seen so much interest. It's been crazy. The response has been crazy. It really has. So even just as an example, the Bird of the Word class we have next Friday on like December 21st or 22nd, we had one person signed up. So we're in the office. We're like, oh, well, I don't know, man. Should, was it too soon after the holidays? What was the... But again, I think there's one spot left, maybe two, or it could even be sold out. We had, I think, even five or six people today that just signed up for that class. So... Word has been great, and, uh, and 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 certainly interest has been great. So we're super we're super psyched about that. You have a purpose, Chef Ben. A purpose. I had a, I had a purpose before, Patty. Thank I know, but much. it's a great purpose now that it's you know, with lots of people interested. Um, yeah, cooking classes. We've got lots of great events. We do have something planned later on in the year. We do. Yes, but I can't really tell much about it other than we're moving. I was just going to say, literally every person watching this knows. No, they don't. Every single That's person. true. You're lying. They don't. Uh, but we are moving. We don't, we're not exactly 100% sure yet where, but we are moving. Uh, we, are, we have outgrown this lovely space that we started in. Uh, we'll be uh, seven years in here in May. So uh, we have really gone from like three employees to 20 plus now. And uh, we're out of space, aren't we, Ben? It's a little hard on some of the days to produce and Mm -hmm. store and do all the things that we need to do. So we're super excited about that. And once all the details are finalized, we will certainly announce. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah. I'm very excited. And Ben's going to have a permanent little home in... I'll actually have an office, maybe. An office, maybe. Not just a desk. If you you come in here most days, you'll see me sitting in our dining room at a table because that's my office. We like to make, you know get him to help with retail and customer service. I'm really good at it. He's really great at it. It's it's definitely, it's in his contract, this magical contract. Yeah. I actually wrote it out of my contract. Is there questions? What do you do? I got one here. So uh, Nicole says, stop in before holidays to pick up some essentials. The peanut butter balls were the bomb. (laughs) Nice. They were. Thank you. Yeah, she does need to take the class. You do need to take the class. And I was going to say, so 2017 is now over. 2018 is over. How much of we did this? Did you have a favorite memory from 2017? Kitchen door. Is there a favorite memory? Scouts. No favorite memory? No, I was not, not scouts. Memory. <laughs> so I just, so if you guys don't know what Scouts was, Scouts. Oh, he's going to talk about they it They always bring Scouts up. It's a new year. I feel like I'm ready. Oh, he's scouts, ready. Scouts Six later. was a two week <laughs> hell fest where we were in, it wasn't actually that bad, but we were in a field in the middle of Middle Muscadabit. The middle of Muscadabit, um, cooking for a thousand people for like two weeks, yeah. three meals a day. It was pretty intense. I got bit by a whole bunch of ticks. Nobody believes me, but I did. There were ticks everywhere. It was fun. Nobody else got bit. 
Any, any it who. was fun, and it was it would look. We had never done something on that scale before, so that was a, the fact that we were able to accomplish it is insane. Impressive. It was, and the planning, and you had a lot to do with the planning. It was pretty much all me. I pretty much did the whole thing on my own. Pretty much me okay. and the ticks. You and the ticks. Have been. <laughs> so it was great for us because now we know what we how well we can do that, and if we were to approach with something similar or another scale, something of that scale, we could come back to the table and with a lot of lessons learned. And say, how would we do it differently, and how would it be better? And also know that we can do it. We can, and that's that's a big, that's a big thing. Because I mean, we knew we could do it. We just didn't know how mm-hmm. it would be. Um, but I think, like, for me, my, it's hard to pick a favorite moment because there's been a lot of really cool things that have happened this year. There has. But I think the one that really comes to mind is the Nova Scotia then and now cookbook. Being yeah, able that to was be a cool. Part that was that super was cool. Was super super cool for me. Yeah, I really like that. Thank you, Valerie. Yes. Actually, first, let's say this. Ted should have his own show. Like, the he's killing that was coming here. He says, Ben was ticked off. And he said, the rest of us were just tickled. <laughs> oh, my husband's humor. 12 years of that humor. It's anyway, lovely. What were you remembering? Do you have a favorite memory? Oh. Probably the day that I was hired. Oh, yeah, the team. Yeah. This last year is amazing because we're, we're both here now. Mm-hmm. Well, th- this year has been amazing. We've we've uh, we've had a lot of new people come to the team, and it's really been nice to see how everybody meshes. Adam's new to us last year, and so that was awesome. And I mean, it, it's nice for me. It's nice to see how everything's evolved. I always go back to that, right? Because you, you would ask me when we when I started Kitchen Dora, like if this was the vision, like totally one hundred percent not the vision, which is awesome because I love where it is, and now I actually have the time and energy to create a vision for what we're going to become and that to be able to do that and to be able to like see a team of people and give them opportunities like Ben and and other people that come you know I I, that I I really like that I like to see the evolution of it and uh, so that's not one specific thing but to put all of what's happened together uh, and know that we have such a good solid foundation we actually had to cut about four minutes ago oh did we oh yeah sorry are we not allowed to be over by 34 minutes or four She's minutes? She's our savior, Benjamin. Yeah, savior. Did She's you not savior. see that clip? That was epic. Never living that down. There was We're going to put that on more loop. That clip. On loop. On loop. Patty Howard, our founder and savior, on loop. Patty Howard, our founder and savior. We're going to make a dance song. Look at the time. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so season two, episode one. Looking forward to it. Ben's chicken. It's delicious. Peer Peer chicken. And check us out. Keep keep watching us. We love that you're watching us. And uh, check out all our upcoming guests because they'd love it if you watch too. And uh, if they want to be a guest, and if you want to be a guest, I mean, we've had a couple people reach out, and we're 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 definitely open to that. So if it's something that you think you'd like to come on and cook your favorite dish or hang out next to this dude, it's not so bad. Or if you want to come hang out with me at the cooking classes, you can do that too. Yeah. And uh, or order catering or do anything. But yeah, no, we're here. We're here, and uh, we're so glad that you uh, you get to join us. So, very much looking forward to an awesome 20, 2018. Thank you so much. Here we go. Chit chat chop. What are you doing? What are you he doing? did. He did this. Three, two, oh, one. Were you going to count us in? I, did, I was going to count oh, us in. You ready? Okay. I was going to go kind of like. I you jinxed guys it. The veterans. I thought we had this. Okay. Let's rewind. We are out of practice. We apologize. Three, two. Wait, wait, are we going on one? Oh my gosh. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Right? One, two, three, go? Yes. Oh okay. my gosh. <laughs> You're all torturous. Three, two, one. Chit chat chop, chit chat chop, chit chat chop, chit chat chop, chit chat chop. I did it. You did not. And Adam just banged into the cutlery rack. We'll see you next week.